Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video talking about how how I can totally empathize with people who have given up eating vegan. And it may it may surprise you, but I can definitely understand people giving up veganism if they are suffering from health um, struggles and it's not to say that if they really 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 tried that they couldn't make a vegan diet work or make a, a whole food plant-based diet work but when you're not feeling your best when your health has been going down you do anything to feel better and and when I say anything obviously if if you have the strong enough like willpower to try to do everything you can to stay plant based then the odds are that you know hopefully you find a solution and um i i th i think that most people can thrive on a plant based diet but i haven't been thriving and it, that brings me to another point, which is that food isn't everything. And a lot of what determines our health is what we do and how we behave and how we deal with stress and how much stress we're experiencing. And so me, the last couple months have been really stressed. I've been really stressed and my health has been getting worse and worse and I got a B12 deficiency, my vitamin D was low, uh, my thyroid's been messed up now and I'm pretty sure I have uh, adrenal fatigue and not like diagnosed by a doctor but I've just had a lot of symptoms that would make sense for that. Um, some of the symptoms I've been experiencing are really low energy, uh, headaches, tension, uh, the doctor, the naturopath that I went to noticed that my blood pressure dropped tremendously when I stood up, which apparently can be a sign of adrenal fatigue, and uh, my fingernails have been really purple, and I've been not able to handle the cold, and I've been very anxious, and my sleep cycle has been totally, totally jacked up been sleeping really long and I'm still tired during the day and what happened before this was six months of going well not even fully six months but going to school getting super stressed out at school trying to go to therapy and trying to uncover and heal from past emotional issues and it's all kind of added up and been this catastrophe of just totally stressing out my body. And now I'm in this kind of lower, lower state of just like really tired, low energy, all these symptoms. And another symptom that I experience is like my, my hands and feet kind of feel like light uh, not numb like I can feel things, but it feels like it feels like when I touch things It's just not fully like there and It's really hard to decipher through all these symptoms uh, If you watched my channel before you know that I experienced uh, dissociation and so just all this stuff has been going on and it's made me really look into stories of people who have quit their plant-based diet and they feel better and I've been going back and forth back and forth trying to like okay like okay I hear your story and then go to other people who are plant-based and try to hear them out and I'm not gonna eat animal products I don't think that my situation is in dire need of that I think that my <laughs> I just need to recover from all this stress 
and kind of rebuild my system and and my um, my yeah my system rebuild my body my emotions uh, my energy and and so I don't think that it's all diet and in fact I think that eating such a healthy high fruit high vegetable uh, high you know whole food diet has only helped and I I really I do understand why people would go would give up not eating meat or why they would go back to eating things and I understand like if you're struggling with your health that then you would want to you're doing you're gonna do anything you can to try to get that back and for me I know that I've become plant-based for a reason or vegan for a reason and I'm just trying to accept whatever is going on now but I don't know I just looking at all the comments people give people for eating meat and all the comments people give people when they decide to not be vegan anymore it's just kind of ridiculous how hateful people are and that's like the exact reason why people are vegan in the first place and so there's just a lot of a lot of hypocrisy and I don't know I don't like that I don't want to be a douche like being vegan doesn't make you better than people being vegan shouldn't be a superiority thing and I don't know I just don't like that and I think that I've been I have felt myself being in that mindset like I'm better because I don't eat those things and granted I don't think that it's right that these animals are all dying and suffering but animals do everybody dies and obviously that doesn't mean you need to take a life needlessly and so the argument is if you can thrive or survive on a plant-based diet then it's not ethical to be killing all these animals but I don't know like some people just seem to not be able to do well on a plant-based diet like long term and I just don't want to be I don't want to be like what vegans try not to be like even though they end up being like that and the way of being that I'm talking about is being mindlessly doing something and not questioning things because that's kind of the whole point of veganism is questioning things but it's also like I can sense and feel that people get so locked into this that they forget that they're now doing what they don't want the other people to do is being just so dogmatic and so rigid minded and and granted it's a good cause obviously that you don't want animals to be suffering and dying but there's got to be a way to not be a douche about it and be accepting of everybody and I don't know this is just these are just my thoughts right now um, as far as B12 goes for me I've been I've injected myself with uh, with one milliliter every day for the last almost three weeks and I'm sure that my levels are fine. I don't think that B12 is all of what is going on with me. And so it wasn't like this cure-all thing for me. Um, I think there's a lot of work to be done, just kind of healing from all the stress that I've been, been encountering. And I started I'm gonna be taking some supplements to aid my thyroid and uh, my adrenals so just kind of 
just trying to aid my body in being able to recover. And this is a long video, so just wanted to talk talk about these things that have been going on in my mind. Let me know if you guys have had any experiences with super low energy, uh, adrenal fatigue, thyroid, B12. Yeah, I just got a phone call. Sorry about that. But that's the end of the video. Peace.